Hello everyone, welcome to the Patch Us In podcast. I'm your host this time round, Hamish, and I'm with the boys, Dom. Alright guys. And Hugh. Hello everyone. I like that we delay, Hugh, just getting everyone in the anticipation there. Like, as if you didn't know you were going to be next. Yeah, very Rocky Horror Picture Show, mate. Uh, I, I just feel like it's been a while since we've done this again. Been a while. Um, I read, I reread the the synopsis I gave the last podcast. <laughs> Have you read it? No, no. no. I just remember going like, "Wait, why is my name in this? Was there a reference made in this?" And then I listened to it, going, "Wait, what? <laughs> this makes no so sense." I, I, I listened to the whole podcast, couldn't really think of a name from what we were talking about. Oh, and so it was, was just like, an insult to me. All right, okay. Yeah, it's better late than dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, that is better. Yeah. Uh, fuck you guys. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's the end of podcast. That's a good way to, <laughs> good way to start off. Um, no, start off strong. Obviously, it has been a wee while. Um, busy with work and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, I've got a, a startup idea for a business. And obviously, if that takes off, then mm-hmm. you know we can spend a bit more time. Yeah. Right, so let me let me know what you think of this, Dom, right? Okay. Basically, I- it's like... It's kind of like yoga or Pilates, right? But okay. you drink a bottle of rum before it, or maybe two. So, right, so it's called Pirates, like pirates. Because, <laughs> I mean, some of the states that I get in, and you wake uh-huh. up and you're like... You get you get into like a, a weird position that you normally uh-huh. wouldn't, because you're absolutely steaming and you don't know. So uh-huh. if Pilates is all about stretching and stuff like that, surely drinking a bottle of rum, you can go like further than your body normally would. You know, those yeah. pain receptors won't be listening and telling you to stop. So deeper stretch yeah. means more exercise or whatever Pilates yeah yeah does. because yeah because like when they tell you to like you know watch what you're doing with your back you could always go i'm just going to arch my back oh, okay <laughs> I, I don't like this idea anymore <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody would man but um i would say yeah okay like when you get to that state where you're basically in ragdoll mode where you can just <laughs> just throw me in that throw me in that position yeah and um yeah, okay, I, I, I like that. I don't know, maybe two bottles of rum are a bit excessive, but for veterans like yourself, maybe pirate veterans like yourself. See, that's it. it depends on, obviously, the, you know, it's all very above board and scientific, so there'll be a chart for, yeah. you know, yeah. body weight H-tier. and uh, yeah, like how much rum you should have, but yeah, yeah. we'll see how it goes. Uh, apart from that, <laughs> I've been I've been punishing myself in other ways. I, I've played Sifu, right? That's a oh. difficult game, man, that's really hard, like... Is it fun though? Because it looks like a really fun combo game. It is fun. It's very satisfying. Um, I got it on the PC and I ended up just modding it so that I looked like Daredevil. I think I sent you guys a picture. Yeah, I'm yeah, a big, that big fun. Daredevil fan, and I was just like, "This is awesome." But obviously, you know, part of the mechanic of the game is that you see yourself getting older when you get beaten stuff like that. So, like, I didn't do it immediately. So, but no, it's it fun. It's like I say, it's satisfying. It's one of those games. I don't know. I think I've talked about it on the podcast before on the GameCube, Enter the Matrix. I used mm-hmm. to go and play yeah. that just to fight with the agents, which you couldn't actually beat, but just doing yeah. all the combos, like the Kung Fu and stuff like that, was just a pure awesome feeling. And yeah. It kind of brought that back. It was it was good. But, difficult game. Yeah. You, you, you do get fucked up quite a lot. I have been seeing a few streamers playing it, and it does look like, see, once you, you've sort of got all the move sets and you go back to it and replay it, it seems like it's a lot easier when you get the mechanics, but yeah. it's... Kinda, kinda like you know, defense and re- uh, repetition really from it as well. And when you get older, it's like, is your health decrease but your attacks up, or is it what is it the benefit? Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, you you do more damage, but you don't last as long when you're old. Which is oh, just... I, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just what happens in it, you know. <laughs> so uh, you have to eventually kind of like you say unlock stuff and then go back. And then basically, mm-hmm. like, the age that you finish the level at, you'll start the next level at that one. So you need to kind of yeah. go back and try and get, like, a lower age so that you're not, like, 100 by the time you're fighting the final boss. And that final boss, that went on for fucking ages. So it was, like... I'm probably exaggerating, but it was a good, like, five, six minutes I'm fighting this guy, and I'm like, I must be doing something wrong. I must not actually be beating him, because mm-hmm. I must be missing some mechanic here. But then, then he died, so I was like, yeah, fuck you, man. I don't need to play this game anymore. <laughs> and, then, and then your guy goes, ah, has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> He's too old. <laughs> Went his whole life in this, just this fight, and then just it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's life in it, Hugh. It's a fight, Hi. and then you die. Yeah. 
it's a good way to bring it back up. Yeah. Uh, and you know, speaking of difficult games, I've also been playing Elden Ring. Um, loving it, but I've never me. heard of it. No, Elden nah, Ring. Never heard of it. Uh, it's not been all over Twitter for the last like. You might know it's it's based off a game, Young Necklace. <laughs> 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 Mate, hold on. Uh, you think my puns are shit, man? <laughs> hell. Uh, all I've been seeing about the game is how amazing it is, like how big it is. People just keep saying how how massive that map is. Yeah, uh, like it, it's absolutely gorgeous game. Um, see, like mechanically wise as well, it's very much like a mixture between Bloodborne, but with some jumping mechanics and an open world game that you know it feels like Breath of the Wild, but. Yeah, Whoa. the whole game is opened up. Yes, a bit, you know. Yes. Oh my god! Like I've only been, I've only got a couple of hours into it. I was playing a lot of it today because, like, this is the most downtime that I've had in the last couple of weeks. But uh, I watched Hamish streaming um, the game as well on our Twitch channel, uh, twitchtv slash and Gaming. It's always done when the plugs in it. He's just always waiting <laughs> to get in that? there. Uh, it was last. When, when was out? Oh. Oh, I was out. Uh, I, I, I was trying to like, uh, I was trying to like watch it on my phone, but like, don't talk like... shit here. You've never been to any of my fucking streams. <laughs> but when uh, when you were playing it, Hamish, like uh, the mechanic, like that struck me is when you jumped from like the high ledge and you took no damage, hmm. and I was like, what the fuck? And then you double jumped as well. I was like, what is this fucking Mega Man? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit strange. It, like, because I think you actually said to me, like, oh, can you double jump? And I said, you can probably see it if it's still on the, the channel. I was like, you can't, it's not Mario, Dom. Don't be stupid. You can't double jump. And then I got the horse who can double jump. And I was like, ah, shit. Yeah. Sorry, Dom. <laughs> a horse can double jump? Yeah, yeah you get a horse. Uh, yeah. yeah. But the oh, thing is, you remember so, the like, horse's name? It's me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got 64 hours in the game. I can remember the name. It's Torrent. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, Hugh's going to love that horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's because that's what I'm going to do with that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I bought it for the PC as well, um, and just wanted to see if I could put it up to the max settings mm. and like have it like at sixty frames. Uh, what a be- what a soundtrack as well! Holy shit! Yeah, you mentioned like, yeah. that on the stream as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, fucking I've, like I've been listening to it just like as background music is like walking page to. <laughs> I've had the main menu music on. Like um, I was listening to, like I listen to game soundtracks quite a lot on YouTube. Uh-huh. And like the main menu song came on, and I was like, "Oh, what the fuck is this?" Because <laughs> it starts off quite it. eerie. Yeah, it goes like epic. Like it, yeah. it goes, it just goes pure like drums and fucking orchestral. Yeah, mm. it was pretty good. It's something like that you could listen to in the gym and just be like, "Yeah, yeah. I can lift heavier now." <laughs> <laughs> how what, how are you feeling with like the story for it? Is this your first uh, like first experience with like a Soul Likes game it's, as well? It's my first like proper time that I've spent in a From Software game uh, mm-hmm. I think you know maybe like t- three, four maybe hours is the most I've played of another one I think it was two, Dark Souls 2 or something like that Dark Souls yeah so I wasn't actually really kind of expecting to be so into this uh, mm-hmm. so I used like a Microsoft Rewards to get money off it so I only paid like 30 quid so I was like if I get too oh, frustrated nice. and you know get raging with it then I'm not spending too much money well, wait, mate. Do you, all we need to do is wait another couple of weeks, and it'll be on Game Pass, and you're like, "Far fucks." <laughs> yeah, that's how it fucking works, yeah. isn't it? I was going to buy Guardians of the Galaxy soon, like after I finished the two games I'm playing, and then I was like, "Oh wait, it's, it's coming to Game Pass soon." Fuck yeah, it's, not buying it. <laughs> it's fucking so it's written in the stars. Well, if I, I don't find it. If I stop Sorry, buying Amish. games, like if I stop buying games, Game Pass is gonna die. <laughs> There's no new games that are ever gonna get put on it. <laughs> That's the thing now. People are now uh, waiting. Like they're going, yeah. fuck that. If it's out on Xbox, it will come to Game Pass at some point. So I'm not buying it until you know six months in or whatever. Yeah, I like, love the I love the jumping mechanics in the game. Like, see that just adds really like strategy to it. Jumping stuff, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> no, again, it's just so bizarre. Like, you don't think like as soon as you started jumping them, is like I thought they would always ground these uh, like ground these characters. They would never try to do it. Like, you know, they would be like, oh, people would just break the game and yeah. try to like mm-hmm. go across. But nah, it just adds so much, and you're not having that fall damage really helps as well because then you get a bit more adventurous with like your your tactics because. As much as like the Souls games are fun, they can be a bit repetitive after a while. You just like counter, stab, counter, you know, dodge, yeah. stab. Die. But with this, it kind of yeah, die, <laughs> die. 
<laughs> you know, you know um, demon souls. Well, you, you, you do actually, you do get fall damage eventually. It's just it's quite a long distance that you can fall, which is good. And mm -hmm. like you're saying about the the jumping, it's good that they've not just like shoehorned that in and be like, oh fuck it, we might as well let them jump. There are like you know <laughs> places that you can only get to jumping and stuff like that. Like they put wee secrets yeah. and that kind of thing. So it wasn't an afterthought, which is good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, one of the main things, sorry, Dom. One of the main things I'm loving when I'm watching, I'm watching like clips on like TikTok and Twitter and stuff, uh -huh. and how you can cheese bosses. Like a lot of games don't like you cheesing; they want you to go in with skills and overpower them, whatever. But like in this, they're going do whatever way you want. So I watched a guy yeah. uh, bring the boss into an area where it actually get kind of get stuck in the door. He'd hit it with arrows and stuff like that, and then he'd hide behind a pillar, it do its attack, miss him, it walk back outside, and he'd just repeat this for like half an hour. And he's like, I don't care that this is cheesing this boss because every time I go near him, I get absolutely fucking destroyed. <laughs> so, I, like, that that actually makes me kind of go, mm, maybe I can play this. Like, I did previously get kind of frustrated with other games and didn't play them, that's why. But uh -huh. even when I'm getting proper frustrated with this, I'm still, like, addicted to it. I'm, I'm just like, oh, I'll go somewhere else, I'll... You know, I'll level up more and stuff like that. Whereas before, I would literally just be like, "Fuck this! What else have I got installed to play?" Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like you're saying here with the like cheese and the bosses and stuff like that, a lot of people were saying like there was this big debate because you can like summon wee helpers and stuff like that, and uh, people were doing it for bosses. And it literally like you walk into the boss area and then it shows you. Oh, by the way, you can summon something here, and then mm -hmm. you, you know, so it, it's part of the game, obviously. Yeah, but everyone was like, "Oh no, have you summoned?" Then you're not really fighting them. There's, it's meant to be a difficult game. It's meant to be hard. But then uh, Miyazaki, the the creator of the game, I think his name is. Um, yeah, he was like, "It's part of the game. Like summons are fun. You should be using yeah. them. Like basically, like shut up. You know what I mean?" So, yeah, I mean, it's like people just want to make it. They want to sort of gatekeep it, and the kind of it's like this is a hardcore game for people that are hardcore. You're taking away the fundamental parts of like why people play these games, and it's like there is more to it than it being difficult or the get good uh, the get good mentality. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a gorgeous looking game. Um, I'm more into, I'm really wanting to see where the story goes because again, George R R Martin is known to make you know like write really good stories. Yeah. Um, not finales, but good stories. <laughs> well, I've ever get the finale, yeah. but yeah, like uh, I can't wait really to jump back into it and really get some hours into Elden Ring. Yeah, I've... is there any other games you've been playing, man? Well, just just on Elden Ring, there the only thing that I would that I would really want is some kind of journal or something like that because you get all these strings of quests and stuff like that, and then it'll just be like well, let's be off the hand comment like. All right, so if you meet me at this place, then you know we'll we'll go and do that. And then there's you give you have no record of it, so you're like, where the fuck am I meant to even go? <laughs> so there has been a couple of times I've had to look up like, great, where am I meant to meet this person, or well, where's yeah. the next boss, or whatever. That's the only thing that I, I wish they did kind of include. Yeah, they, they they but they've always been known for just being like, ah, figure out yourself, uh, asshole. When you're like, <laughs> please don't. Uh, I've not really been playing anything else like at all, man. Um, mm. I, I, like I say, I think I've got like 64 hours or something like that, 64, 65 hours. Fucking hell, man. Any time I get like free time I'm, and I'm on the Xbox, I'm jumping on that. Which is good, because yeah. I've, like, I've not had a game in a while that I could really sink my teeth into like that, you know? So Yeah, you picked a good game as well. You got a really good game to sort of like fall into, um, especially being so new and relevant and... Uh, yeah, there is a reason why people are handing out these 10, 10 out of 10s and um, yeah. yeah, I mean it's, it's just like breaking records on Twitch and stuff like that and everything because it's everyone's kind of loving it just now aren't they? Yeah, because I mean I even think myself like if you come in as someone that's never played like a Souls game or Bloodborne or anything like that and this is your first chance to play those types of game yeah, it, they, they sort of hand told you when you were playing it on Twitch it felt like it was very much like a tutorial and how everything was going to uh, play out yeah. and yeah it's a really good uh, stepping stone for folk to want to play it because like see once you get the rhythm of it I think if you go back and play Demon Souls uh, and Bloodborne and uh, Dark Soul games you'll really enjoy them too for the lore and the story Yeah, um, but visually just like I, I can't say anything bad about it like it's an absolutely jaw-dropping game 
yeah. Now the I have actually thought like I oh, maybe need to revisit the other games. You know, just now that I mm. better understand the mechanics and stuff like that. Now that I've got yeah. good, I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> got a copy of Demon Souls, mate. If you, if you want. Right, let's sure. not let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the day that Hamish got good. <laughs> but uh, and I, I'll tell you one thing, Dom. See, once you've got like a good amount of hours in it, and you're you're leveled up. Yeah. The other day, I went back to like the area where I was streaming. So like mm -hmm. the low level area, but the guys were like killing me, and I just. I was like blaring some Black Sabbath and I was just on horseback and I was just cutting these motherfuckers down like, <laughs> the best feeling ever like, and I even found, gathered in the masses <laughs> <laughs> I even found like bosses and stuff like that, that I'd missed because obviously you're not really meant to fight every boss as you see them you know like, it's not always mm. going to be possible I found some bosses and I was just wrecking them as well and it was such a nice feeling like a total change <laughs> of pace from the pure struggling and trying 30 different ways of, of fighting a boss but I yeah. should definitely have a have a shot at that like when you when you get some levels but uh, so you've been playing that Dom have you been playing it now so you've been up to much else uh, yeah so I've been playing a, a bunch of games on the PC um, and some on Game Pass as well um, I don't know if you guys seen that the pedestrian came out I don't know what that is so you're basically playing it's like a puzzle game that you're playing like as a wee, wee fire escape guy and oh, you're running yeah. through them you're like literally uh, on that, the signs yeah and you're sort of just progressing through that I played that for a few hours that was you know after a while you're just like okay you kind of get the concept and ah, it's fine harmless but I was surprised that it kind of came out to no fanfare which was really really strange um, been again playing some Elden Ring really enjoying that playing that on the PC as well just to um see if there's any any big differences between it again as i said looks gorgeous gameplay is phenomenal um but um i finally got a chance to sit down and properly play re4 as well on the pc with that fan made uh, remake um and it's always been rumored for a while that capcom have been wanting to redo re4 probably in the re engine when the new ones were uh, seven and eight so it's all but confirmed and see after been playing it for a few hours i I kind of see, yeah, maybe it's time to redo it. Um, Dom, uh, yes, I think I think we get we're a bit skewed because we think a games that came out in the GameCube and the Xbox and the PS2 is recent. Mm -hmm. But like something like I think it was, um, I was watching The Dark Knight, uh -huh. and I was like, oh, this this film's shown a bit of age now. When did it come out? And I was like, oh, 2008. That doesn't feel like a long time ago. That was like 14 years ago. <laughs> uh, then I was like, uh, "That means Batman Begins is nearly 20 years old." Like, like, and then that was it in 2005, I think. So, like, when you're talking RE4, that was what 2003, four, mm -hmm. probably on the GameCube 2002. Yeah, it's nearly a 20 year old game now. But the reason why it feels like it's not that long is because it's been re-released so many times, it's, and you it's forget the that. Four in the game yeah. Industry. Remember the biggest lie I think we said the last time. Biggest lie in the uh, the gaming history, gaming uh, history is RE4 exclusive on GameCube. It's yes. the biggest lie. Um, but you know the upscale 4K, it looks great. It plays plays great, but it is showing its age, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I played a few hours of that, and um, it's been it's been uh, it's been great. Is it a texture uh, pack or? Yeah, yeah, just a, a texture pack. Uh, they've redone some of the music as well. Um, made it so if you had like a seven point one surround sound or five point one, so um, everything's been balanced as well. But um, I know, like, if anyone's wanting to play RE four a wee bit differently, I know you know yourself, you uh, the wee stuff. Something that you picked up was a couple of days ago might be a good option for the VR, um, because that's came out exclusively on the Oculus. He is um, a shite bag, he's not playing that on a VR. <laughs> but it's like, see, when you pull out a shotgun, you have to reach over your shoulder, spray, you have to, you know, you physically have to do the movements, and I'm like, at least, you know, if you're going to play the game, I would highly suggest, if you're a huge fan of it, I would give it a, I would give it a go on the fan remake, but if you wanted to do it a different way and a bit of a challenge, yeah, definitely try the VR one. Um, I did try another game. Which was, which was in beta. I don't know if you guys have seen it because it's in on Xbox and I've not seen it before. A Craftopia. No. I, I think I downloaded it with the, the intention of playing it, but I never actually got around to it. I played it for twenty minutes and was like, "This is this is shit. What the fuck is this?" So, oh. Hugh. Yes. 
Um, here's 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 a great con- game concept. Okay, Breath of the Wild. Yes. Fortnite. Yes. Call of Duty. <laughs> right. You're just naming game stuff. <laughs> Minecraft. There's there's some weird. These are all very successful games already. Gaijin Impact. Yeah, that's successful. Right? Like. Okay. Okay. That's that. That's all of them individually. They have like their perks, and they have like you know. Okay, that's okay. That feels like it would be good. Now imagine that all in one game. Really? Do they try and cram a lot of those? Like yeah. Like, do you mean Call of Duty Warzone? Call of Duty, as in like you know, if you build a gun, you can go in the first person oh. and stuff. Yeah. So oh, it's yeah. it's trying to do everything, and twenty minutes into it. Well, intro, the intro alone set the tone. So, when you first make your character, um, the first thing that happens, this big red button comes up. Just a big, big red button that says press A. So you push A, and it cut hard cuts to the earth exploding. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you destroyed the earth. Well done. Now, you've got to recreate the earth, I guess. And they, oh, they, right, and they right. blame you for it, and I'm like... This is written so badly. Did I write this? I don't remember. Did I have a fever dream <laughs> and write this sort of game? So after twenty minutes and kind of getting the game mechanics, uh, yeah, it's not worth it. Yes, it is in beta, but it's trying. It's too busy. It's trying to do everything. Trying to do, try to be a craft maker, but also at the same time trying to be like a fighter and a shooter. And so a... it doesn't do any of these things well. And no. there's already there's already games out there that you can play that are better. Hell yeah. So you're I'm saying that it, it should be called Craptopia. Damn it, Hamish, I had that written down here <laughs> and you've stolen it from me. I can see it. Oh, you, I can see it at the bottom of the frame of the web- webcam. <laughs> uh, well, that's not all you can see. Oh. <laughs> but um, I so why is, um, that, why is that hot dog moving, Dom? <laughs> also, I'll put some mustard on it. <laughs> um, but that's that's a... Uh, that's the games I've been playing. Again, I've not really had much of a chance to play anything else, obviously, with, like, moving and stuff. But, um, but yeah. Um, looking forward to starting Horizon as well. But I think Q's got something to say about that as well. Uh, that's all we have Maybe. time for, unfortunately. So, we'll get, oh, we'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hugh, are you ready to go? What do you want to... What, what do you want to tell us? What's burning? I'm so eager. I can see in his eyes. Yep. He's like... <gasps> Maybe thinking of how to say it well for me Hamish well <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well I bought an Oculus Quest 2 um, yesterday do you know why I bought it uh, I was playing PSVR and I was like this is very bloody yeah and that <laughs> goddamn cable at my head oh uh, mate there was so many things like going wrong like the move controllers weren't they, like um, matching what was going on in the screen yeah mm-hmm. And like then I was like, well, the camera's kind of like no high enough, or it's too high, or like there was just too many issues, right? So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go and get a Quest too, because that's I really want one anyway. So I went and got one, and then like, do you know the first place I went? I went to my mom and dad's house, and um, I just let my dad use it to go on like um, 360 videos type things. Yeah. And it was like spacewalks and stuff like that. he was doing. Yeah. And, mate, I've never seen a man so impressed with something in my whole life you know my you know my dad he's not impressed by any tech like he's he's very simple the only thing he's ever been impressed by is the uh the beer draft machine i bought him <laughs> only <laughs> only because it serves him beer yeah but yeah. Mate, he was honestly like thinking he was like i kind of want one of these like because it's so simple like yeah. you don't have any wires you don't need to set up the only yeah, annoying thing is the facebook thing yeah but, but i'm i'm trying to Yo ho ho round it, like yeah. and finding ways of figuring that out. Um I mean when you something comes out of the box and works right away and anyone can use it, then it automatically puts it like the it's like Apple. There's a reason why people use Apple phones and Apple tech that is like so straightforward that it's anyone can use it. User friendly, isn't wor- it? And it works. As yeah. long yeah. as it works coming out of the box, yeah. Sure with the whole login thing with like the meta. Now and try to get you in that metaverse, you. Oh, I'm in the metaverse now. <laughs> like your man, you t shirt on, and everyone's like, look at him. And everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what life is as a Man United fan now. Everyone's just going, haha. Um, it's an True. amazing bit of kit. Like, I know it's not, like, there's obviously like several headsets more expensive. They do higher resolution, better frame rate, better point. What's it? Field of view? Because the field, field of view, view is yeah. quite. Fove, narrow. Mate. 
field of view, yeah. Fov. Um, field of view. <laughs> yeah, fov. Of. <laughs> All right. I thought you kept saying of, and I was fov, like, I'm mate. saying of. <laughs> <laughs> but the clarity in that screen is so much better. Mm. Like, it's, it's night and day. Yeah. Um, hey, Hamish, how do you feel see with the Oculus uh, with glasses on? Do you need to still wear like glasses while you're wearing it, or do you feel like there's any sort of thing that they could improve on with that? Uh, I don't wear my glasses when I'm doing that. I only wear them in front of you guys to feel intellectually superior. Oh, I thought you were Clark Kent in this right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Takes it off. I'm like, oh, it's the great Hambo. <laughs> I need, uh, I need, I need glasses for distance, not for up close. But like my brother, for example, wears glasses all the time. And he's used uh-huh. it, and there is a you get an extender with it, like yeah, it you gives you a wee bit of extra space. Oh, and that's good, then. he never had any problems with that at all. So, awesome. You know, no matter what your circumstances are, I think they accommodate. I've only downloaded two games so far, and it's Super Hot and Beat Saber. I mean, yeah. they're they're a couple of great games to be fair. Like they're brilliant. Super, Super Hot's so good, man. Like yeah. it's just it's just really fun when you you feel badass when you're grabbing guns out of midair and like. And it, like the only thing that gets me is uh, the the going back to the start of the level after you get shot or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see that shot. <laughs> like, oh, I because you're like because you actually literally have to. Oh, go, oh for fuck's sake! It was some guy behind me threw a baseball bat at me or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm throw, I'm throwing um, like um, bottles and shit at, and missing completely, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, and then Sinead's going, you look stupid. But just, you know, like... See... And then you put the Oculus on, so... <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is, like, playing that on an Oculus compared to, like, a PlayStation, because I've played Super Hot on both, and it yeah. is a night and day difference, you know what I mean? It's, like, mm. just so much easier not having to worry about, like... Because obviously, you sometimes need to turn around and stuff like that, and if you do that, yeah. then it's like, oh, I've lost the motion controller on the PlayStation, and you're like, fuck you, man, I'm about to get... Yeah. Stabbed in the face, like I was trying to explain this to Sinead. Like, I think PSV came out in 2017. Now, that's five years ago. Tech moves massively in five years, yeah, yeah. So, I think PSVR 2, which I'm still probably going to get because it's in the PlayStation environment, it's going to be slightly better than the Quest, but it's going to have more wires, more, yeah, it's going to have its limitations, yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason they get the Quest 2 is you can do things that you can't do in a PlayStation environment. You can, like, um, side load in, like, other games and, like, because li- it's Linux based, you can do. You can you can get away from Zuckerberg and he's watching robot eyes. Like. Those hollow, non human yeah. eyes. Those lizard, lizard eyes. Man eyes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to go to Hamish and ask him what is the best software to get with it. Like, uh what's the best games the best experiences mm. and stuff like that because a lot of it's got to do with um, like just just experiences in VR that like that you can't do uh, with other mediums I want yeah. to visit you know places that I probably won't go on holiday let's let's go see the, the, the pyramids let's go see fucking Blackpool Tower you know, yeah, Blackpool Tower, the Barton Castle. Let's go to these <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, uh, see, for a game that I was actually going to recommend when you were mentioning what you've downloaded already, if you want a kind of mix of Super Hot and Beat Saber, uh, get Pistol Whip. That's like ooh. you're on a rail and you move along with music, and we guys pop out the side. You need to shoot them and stuff like that. Um, kind of inspired by like John Wick and stuff like that, but you're. That's kind of a, an amalgamation of those two games, so that's one that you should probably nice. pick up. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you charge the controllers? You know the batteries. Are they? Are they is that actual like? It's actual batteries in it. Yeah. You can get uh, like my friend Sinead, She's got like a wee like stand for it, and it's like mm-hmm. you, you press a button and it kind of opens up mechanically. You put your headset on, it charges that, and it comes with uh, rechargeable batteries oh, like ah, for the thing okay. that you, and you just slot it all in I think she said it was like oh, that's 70 awesome. quid or something like that um, yeah I'm going to get that I'm going to get something like that because I don't like I was looking at them I was like there isn't a USB-C port on these like which yeah, would have been yeah. but like because, the thing is like, like I, I, I maybe went like seven eight months before I had to change the batteries in the, head, the hands so oh they last forever then. They, they do last a very long time so. how do you feel about the the hands as well Hugh like Wait, the I, peripherals I, I, I like them. They're, they're um, quite intuitive. Mm. Uh, the thing I'd seen was cool was it can t- track where your thumb thumb goes. Mm. Yeah, and it can track yeah. where your index finger goes. It can't do the other. Uh, 
It might be able to do your middle finger because of the other button, but like... Yeah. So you just want to be flipping everyone off, like... Aye, obviously. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Even if, like, so you've got on the thing, you've got the stick and you've got the buttons, and even if you move your thumb from the buttons over to the stick without touching the stick, it knows, uh -huh. and it, like, moves yeah. it on your wee... Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. There's actually been, like, quite a lot of uh, updates and stuff like that from when mm. I've got it to now, you know, like the hand tracking you don't even need the controllers it sees your hands and you can use your hands to do everything and air link have you like tried it. have you have you tried half life hamish yeah that was probably the most polished best game that i've played on it so that's what i've heard this well no it, the there was like a kind of there is a computer link and you needed a link cable but then they updated it for air link and so you can do it wirelessly Oh, that's awesome. You will you probably get a better performance using a cable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it is possible to do wirelessly. Why is that Why is that cable like £70? Because it's just a C, USB-C to C. I don't think... No, I, I got mine for like 25 30 or something like that, and it's like fucking 10 feet long. Yeah. Now, it, it may be because it's super massive, but like I just looked online and like... Um, it was like Oculus computer link cable sixty nine ninety nine, and I was like, "What the fuck? That's only like, that's a USB cable." <laughs> that must be from the fucking Facebook store itself, mate. Like, it, yeah, I mean, I started getting you. Fucking Mark Zuckerberg, man. Fuck that Max guy. Max Superbug. You know, yeah, he can hear me. You, know, you know, one of the things that I did as well. Uh, like one of the first things I did the first couple of nights, because I when I first got it, I just played it for ages. Uh, there's something called Big Screen. I think it's in beta, but. You can go to like loads of different kind of like movie theaters and watch stuff, and uh, you've got your own wee like your own wee pad, and you can get people over and stuff like that, and put things from your computer up on the screen, so you can watch like any movie or TV show, or uh, people were putting like karaoke on it and stuff like that, and you can, you, can all, uh, you can all just kind of sit and chill and stuff like that. So I was hanging out with people from like America and stuff like that, just chatting shit, and it's really surreal to think about, you know what I mean? But mm. it's it's pretty Maybe. amazing. We should do that, and you should watch Dragon Ball. Nah, I'm gonna have some uh, <laughs> gonna have some internet connectivity problems that night, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make sure. Yeah. Um, so Oculus is fun. I've only had it for a day and a half, so like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna explore that world more. Is that uh, honeymoon feet? Yeah. But there's two two games that I'm I'm quite deep into right now, and one of them is Triangle Strategy on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Which is a strategy RPG made by Square Enix in the HD 2D style, the same as like Octopath. God, that game's good. Like, it's so good. Uh, it's it's. Have you played Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem or any game like that? Yeah, Hamish looks like he's like Hamish. Hide away the Fire Emblem mug right now. <laughs> Check the <that> podcast. <laughs> he's glazed I'm over. Like, is he asking me? Like, surely he's not asking me this fucking yeah. stupid so, question. Hamish, Hamish, is like, <laughs> Hamish is like, is there, is there, a, is there a Far Cry t uh, strategy game? <laughs> Far Cry tactics. <laughs> Far Cry from this podcast strategy. <laughs> like, it, it's 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 very like every strategy game, but it just has that nice HD two D sheen on it. Everything's yeah. kind of. And um, it, I'm assuming this time it's not like Fire Emblem it has in the recent years. Like uh, with the Free Houses, when I played that, I played about 40, 50 hours of it, and some. And then it was like, oh wait, you need to play an extra 10, 15 hours before you really get into it. And I'm like, I put 50 hours into this game, and I'm getting nothing back. I'm sorry, like no game, no game should do that. So is it quite pa is it well paced compared to the other ones? It's it's um, it's very Square Enix. It's it's. That's not big an answer. Giant, yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, big long story sections with decisions, talking to people, and like question. Persuading. Yeah, and and for forks in the road. Okay, yes, question no. uh, is: Does Sora, Goofy, and Donald show up? Uh, not yet, not yet. Oh. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they turn up at some point. I find it crazy yeah. that you like these kind of games where you need to like talk to people all the time here because you don't like that in real life. <laughs> you fucking hate I, talking to people. Well, see, what He's you can up. do with the Switch is you can put it on standby. Yeah. <laughs> and switch, no, skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Hold on to Y. <laughs> I have noticed that I've liked playing it better on a TV than uh -huh. portable. Obviously, the screen... That's going to be every game in a minute, really. Like... It's just nicer to see that map, because obviously it's like a big grid map. Uh -huh. And you're like, oh, there's my there's my yeah, archer, there's my mage, whatever, I'm going to mm. go this way. Yeah. The fun, the fun thing is it's, it's, it's challenging enough like it's not it's not Elden Ring it doesn't kick my ass constantly but it makes me feel like I have to actually 
think about these decisions before I make them. Yeah, so like I... their strategies are quite strategy games are quite like that. It's like you can't just like rush everything and then your your defense is exposed or you know yeah. if you lose like, again. I'm assuming it's kind of like Fire Emblem where if you someone dies they die unless you've got no. that. No, no, oh, no, no, no. It's not. It's not like that. No, but that okay. person does not doesn't gain any like experience. Doesn't get stronger or anything like that. Nah, no, yeah. It is quite a satisfying yeah. feeling playing strategy games and like, you know, figuring something out a, a good way of doing things and getting that victory. It does feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I, t- I tend to pair up or like triple up some of the the characters because you've got like ten, fifteen party members, and I'm like, mm-hmm. right, these two, these two work well together. Distance, uh, close combat, healing, all that. Like, you've just got to figure it out like what is your favorite um way of approaching this um they also do things like traps on the map where you can mm-hmm. like lead people into a part and then press a switch and that part goes on fire that was pretty cool jesus <laughs> yeah it was a pretty it was pretty good um uh, experience it was also good that um there's a lot of forks in the road so mm-hmm. like there's a lot of decisions you have to make will i do this or will i do this and it, it looks like it affects the story quite massively you won't see certain parts which for me is annoying like I want to see it all but you can't see it all because You'd so rather, like... would you rather it be a knife in the road rather than a fork? I was I was really close to making some kind of joke about a spoon or something like that and then I was like nah the guys will just make fun of me for it <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like do you think there's a worth of replay, replay yeah. ability with it then? I think, I think I'm going to play this two or three times so How long was the game? Good. About 30 to 40 hours. Ah, you won't bullshit. Like, Better money you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've played fine. Mate, I was, I was hanging out with uh, other friends, not you two. Uh, I was hanging out with uh, Rory you and, and Jerry. And we were having a real geeky night listening to like, Final Fantasy soundtracks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And Final Fantasy 15 came on and me and Jerry just started talking about Final Fantasy 15 for like an hour. And like, you both know this. I love that game, even though I know it's not very good. <laughs> And at the end yeah. up we both went like that. right see tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to create a new save in Final Fantasy 15 and like we both went well, let's play Final Fantasy 15 again and that's a 60 80 hour game ok and uh, burning question have you started playing it again uh, I, I, I played the first little bit <laughs> and then I was like but like I've also got Horizon Forbidden West to play um, yeah. so and, and this is I'm going to play Triangle Strategy over the next year probably just on and off kind of like going into and out of it the only downside of Triangle Strategy... I need to hear point. about it for the next, like, 20 podcasts. Oh, it's the no yeah. new Ghost of Tsushima, Hugh. Hugh? Oh, yes. No, no, I'm going to play that uh, DLC very soon as well, so you'll hear about that as well. Um, What's the this, downside? Uh, the voice acting. Apart from all of it. The voice acting is cheesy. Mm. Which which may be intentional. Because like what? Give us, a, give us an example. I can't. It's American, and it's, it's kind of like... They're trying to be ye old English, but with American accents. Oh, shit. Like, yeah. always sunny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just watched the uh, the season 15 on Netflix. That was really good when they went to Ireland. It was good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, I'm uh, Me and Andrew are watching that at the moment. We may, so. we may have a wee podcast about season 8, because there's yeah. a lot of shit to talk about. But um, the voice acting isn't bad. It's cheesy. Mm-hmm. Fun. Mm. You know, is the, is the kind of like the feeling of the game cheesy, or is it meant to be? Is it trying to be dead yeah, serious? Or? It's like I don't know. I don't know how like any RPGs you get, but there's a lot of fucking kingdoms and alliances and emperors and continents with like different um, worlds on it. So you hear the same shit over and over. Yeah, it's just funny. It's it, like it doesn't take itself massively seriously. Yeah, which which I like. What was the other game? Uh, Horizon Forbidden West. You have been playing that, yeah? Yeah, I've Just because I've not it. seen you streaming it, so I didn't think you'd be playing it. I uh, can't stream right now, but like... Uh, <laughs> well, the the game's The game's fucking good. Like, Alright, cool. They, they've, definitely, they've definitely upped the, um, the animations in this game. The Aloy can express way more, like, seeing conversations. And she's like, not like... She's not always just staring at <laughs> She's got that dead look, that glazed over look that someone's like oh I really just don't want to be here I wish you were just sitting doing something else kind of like you know Hamish's look right now yeah. there's like, a lot of like, character in the game when you guys talk about anime and shit <laughs> anime <laughs> but, have you like you both of you have played the first game yes yep right, I mean so, I mean, we, I streamed the first game yes so imagine that but like way more polished to it 
and what, Dom. I hope. <laughs> Wax me up, boy. <laughs> the, but yeah, yeah, it's a bit. Like, I've seen some clips of it. It does look like it's had like you know a bigger budget put into it, and it looks like unbelievable. I've and got. I'm, it a, I'm a bit. I'm a bit hesitant of actually. Like, I've got it downloaded on my PS5. But see, when I seen the space for it, like over a hundred gig, and they always shit myself, man. Going, this is about the same size as uh, FF7 remake. Yeah. And I'm like, that's like this. This game better be at least eight hours. Well, put it this way, right? I'm about twenty-five hours in, and I'm only in like a third third area, and there's like ten areas. Oh, okay. And it's that's mostly because I've I've been doing everything, like because mm. it's the way I play games is like, oh, there's slow something here. I'm pretty- and do you know the other thing? I'm ignoring you when you're <laughs> <laughs> like, yelling at you, sandbagging it. Uh, I've been wanting to like not just smash through it. Uh-huh. I-, I want to actually savor this game because I've waited five years for it. Um, yeah. Uh, the voice acting... I've waited five months for it, Hugh. I'm not going to smash it. I'm going <laughs> to smash right through. Like, don't know because like I think you would get burned out. I honestly think you would get burned out if you tried to smash through this game because there's just a lot to do. And I know that's why it's like Ubisoft games, but like this game actually has interesting things to do. Yeah, it's content. <laughs> it's got like it's not like please follow this person or get to this waypoint or you know. No, I mean that's, or... that's that's a tough one because I mean if you might get burnt out by playing it so much because there is so much to do and you're doing everything. That's that's one of the pitfalls of me trying to do everything in games like I end up like not even finishing the main story because I'm like oh fuck I've already put 40 hours into this and but the, it's, a, it's a change in my mindset when I'm playing it though every time I feel a bit burned out on the side quest stuff I just go for the main story yeah yeah. I, I, like I just do that I just go right oh let's move it on a little bit and let's see what else is happening see what's well, happening yeah. and Reddick's back's in it I'm oh nice oh, yeah. it. he's back in it back's in it nice back's in it he's back um, it's back uh, Ashley Birch does a really good job voicing Aloy again. Yeah. There's a much bigger cast of characters this time as well. Like, you meet a lot of different uh, types of people. Um, you can f- be friendly with them or you can be an absolute bastard. Like, it's completely nice. up to you. I like that. But, like, a lot of the time, Aloy is snarky. <laughs> like, she's just. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Because she's a she's fucking the... ginger. <laughs> They're all snarky. <laughs> No, no, it's, she's like, uh, I was banished for at least like 17, 18 years of my life, and you know, yeah. now, now I'm a savior. Now I'm Aloy, save us all. Like, yeah, of course you're gonna have a bit of a chip in your shoulder as that's well. That's true. That's a very good point, actually. Yeah. And then too many people are zooming in on our peach fuzz on our face and stuff. And that, that, like, that annoyed me, right? There's thought you were gonna shit. say something completely I, different there. <laughs> I, Twitter really does my nothing with this stuff, right? Because like, do you know what I love? Like, the most the feminine enough. And she's she's got peach fuzz, and it's like, have you ever been around a woman? No. Uh, that's like, that's literally just people <laughs> out in themselves, like to have, show that they have only been like, like eight foot away from a woman before, <laughs> or at least you know a good foot away when they're looking for the binoculars. <laughs> so far, Horizon has been better than the first one, which is all I could ask for, pretty much. Uh, it's massive, has a lot of stuff to do. I've got it on favor performance, so it's always at sixty FPS. Oops. Mm. Which does give the graphics a little dirty look, it gives it a little softer, it's not as long, um, um, draw distance, what do you call that, draw distance, sorry, um, and I have seen people do the favour resolution, and it looks really nice, but like that, that 30 and 60, like I can't, like I've played it in 60, I probably can't play it in 30 now, mm-hmm. the, the game is probably going to get its own podcast eventually, because I think Dom, you're going to play it, and Hamish, when you're finished playing Far Cry 19, yeah. you'll get down to play. Something. <laughs> I'll probably, I'll, probably I'll have you know, mate. Uh, like, sorry, I, I played the first one before you fucking did. <laughs> yeah, but did you beat it? Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably uh, stream it if I'm going to be honest. Like, see if I can uh, get I'll, a chance. Maybe next week I'll start it, and then Hamish can watch me I was play. Gonna say, it, I'll play it for Dom. Yeah. There you go. See. Yeah. You. Mate, I you... think if you were going to stream it, it's probably like if you ignore like loads of the side content, you're probably going to be doing forty hours, fifty hours. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You can take a weekend off and you know, just yeah. batter out in one. Look. Just, just blam through it. Yep. <laughs> I feel really bad for um, Guerrilla Games who made Horizon because the first one came out in the same day as Breath of the Wild, which totally overshadowed it. Even though it, it sold loads, it yeah, it could have been a bit better. Yeah, and it came out the same week as Elden Ring, I think. So like. 
again, overshadowed mm. by probably a better game Metacritic wise and stuff mm. like that. But I still think it sold really well mm. and there's still a huge fan base for it. There was a lot of arguments on Twitter. I think we were talking about this earlier about just people shitting on it because it was a PlayStation exclusive and there's like, you know, Twitter, it's fucking fan It's a cesspool. Right? cesspool. Ah, ah, it's full of the worst people. And people you are, are on like, there a lot, aren't you? Like, uh, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm just voyeuring at all this shit. Um, that Don't bring it. words like that onto this podcast, Hugh. <laughs> the, but like, people are like, oh, she's not feminine enough. She's Hold on, can I just say, like, does. Tom, that is an actual word. It's not just a category in Pornhub, right? Like, <laughs> you can oh, say right. voyeuring. <laughs> <laughs> it just means watching, Tom. <laughs> uh... I wouldn't believe people when they say stuff like that. The graphics are really fucking good. She is a character, and she's based off a real person. I can't remember oh, right, the, I du- the Dutch woman's name, but I think it's like Hannah Horka or something. Like something like that. I, I can't remember. I've seen it a lot. Hannah Barbera. And she looks very, very like this person. A lot, a lot of the nitpicks against the game are just... What they're just nitpicks. It isn't a perfect game, but it's nowhere near as bad as people are trying to make ah, it. It's, it's the vocal minority, it always is, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it was review bombs saying there was loads of glitching. I, don't, I haven't seen very many glitches. The only thing that happened to me was the game updated and it, it looked like it bricked my PS5. Oh, so, no. like, it was, yeah, so like the PS5 just wouldn't switch back on. So I googled it and they were like, right, you need to do a hard reset your PS5. And I was like, Whose fault is this? Is this Sony's fault for releasing this <laughs> fucking update? Like, yeah, you're just like a fucking fault. Twitter brigade. Who's the, who do I blame for this? <laughs> but like, imagine because PS5s are still fucking hard to come by. That's so, like, true. Imagine, yeah. How raging would Imagine if fuck the PS5 and I'm sitting there going, the game I really, really fucking wanted to play has just fucked me for five hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be yeah, awful. So. That's like that's like some Twilight Zone shit. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Like so we, we the guy this isn't fair. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd maybe wait. Wait. If you're going to wait, it's probably for the better because they'll probably update it again and get rid of that fucking whatever bug that was. Yeah, they've just put in the patch there actually uh, a few days ago, the 1.0007. So that's supposed to fix. It's supposed to be like a sleep state issue. I think that's what may have caused it. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah, like. A lot of issues. Yeah. That. I mean, you remember that happened with Miles Morales as well. That was uh, the one that was breaking a lot of people's PlayStations as well, and people were scared to put anything into suspension mode. I mean, I still did it for the first year of having my PS5. I would, I would always turn off my PS5. I'm like, Jason, if you're playing uh, FIFA, just turn it off. Don't fucking put it into like rest mode. Just they turn it off. Like and no, no, he did every he, step of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did always put it into that, and then. Uh, thankfully, I don't think he ever did it in suspension because, like, any time I turned it on, it did take a while to boot back up. But yeah. f- fuck, man, it was like you know that fear of like you've just got a five hundred pound brick. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. And who, who, who's going to fix it? Is Sony going to send you a new one, or is uh, John Lewis when I bought mine? Are they going to send me a new one? Are they going to argue <laughs> between themselves? You know, it's just hassle. Yeah. But like, that's the two games I've been playing, and I've been planning to beat them before the next two games I want to play come out which is uh, Chrono Cross the remaster which I am fucking so excited for and Advance Wars remaster or remake mm. but they just delayed Advance Wars because yeah. there's a war like this is going to sound so callous there's a war going on so mm. they're like oh let's delay Advance Wars yeah and you're like god damn it <laughs> like how selfish can I get but like <laughs> Uh, it's, it is what it is, unfortunately. Though, if they don't want to make it feel like they're monetizing over something horrific at the moment, I guess that's what they're looking at, rather than. Well, you know, I get, I understand. It's not even just that; they've also stopped Nintendo. They've stopped like shipping to uh, Russia as well. Mm-hmm. So, all just feels, a bit, feels a bit like overkill. Like you know, Call of Duty's not going to stop fucking stop releasing or anything like that. And... Well, actually, there's not going to be a Call of Duty next yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was the wrong wrong fucking time to say that, but uh, yeah, they yeah. they delay in a year because Vanguard was so badly received. Mm. I actually don't know anyone that plays it. Like, nope. I think well, even my brother plays it, and he's nah. a big Call of Duty fan. Also, Halo's died for us as well. We haven't played Halo in weeks now. It's just that goddamn Battle Pass, mate. As soon as the next Battle Pass is out, I'm probably 
get back into it, but there's yeah. not since, much point since, to me. Yeah, since the move, man, like my Xbox is just sitting still boxed up at the moment. I'll eventually unbox it so we can all play again together. I mean, obviously it's me, the foundation of like the Xbox party groups, the ones that come in and go, hey guys, I'm working. The in the next eight hours, I need to. I, was I need to go get you, you sleep. Foundation because he's at the bottom of the scoreboard. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> holding you up. Sorry, right, guys. Making us look I'm good. There. <laughs> really hamishing up that scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favourite sound. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was about to say like um, with Halo. Yeah, I've not had any itch to play it, but then I'm just putting it through to like just all these new games that have been coming out. Yeah, it's been more dedicated to time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just don't oh. want to lose that edge. You know, I was, I was feeling pretty good at the game, and they've just delayed um, four-player co-op, or the co-op campaign in general, they've just delayed that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Right. yeah. And Forge, so was... and everything like that. They've delayed yeah. everything again, and it's it's like, yeah, I get it, you're going to delay it, it's going to come out eventually, but fucking hell, like, this game needs people to continue to play it. You've told I mean, us it's a live service. Same thing happened with, like, the Master Chief Collection, like, oh, it's shit now, but we will improve it, and it's like, well, people aren't Wanting to wait around. fucking ages, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to wait yeah. five years because yeah. I, I never really went back to Master Chief Collection after they fucked. Like, because we were so excited, let's get back on play Halo Three. Yeah. And it was like, all right. Oh, we can't party up. Like, well, what the fuck's the point? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is it? It's it's frustrating when they think it's like, ah, oh, we'll fix it eventually, and it's like, nah. Sorry. Like, there's plenty of other games that are like, you know, I think mean, a good example of that is just like, look, Elden Ring right there what happens when you just leave a game to be developed and you can just really sit and there's no issues people are enjoying it there's yeah. no you know no problems with it there's not oh we'll eventually update it don't worry guys yeah. Eternal is another one. Oh, re- sorry Returnal the Playstation Returnal. one that, Returnal sorry um, like that as well that got released that was no much there was no money many problems with that people loved that it's, I get it I get that Halo is a huge fucking franchise, and it was it was it was struggling with Halo Five, and it hadn't had a release in years. And I've lost heard lot... two directors, wasn't it, during this as well? I, I've heard that a lot of the issues are to do with Microsoft's practices of hiring contractors instead of building a workforce. You know, I mean, they, they contract out a lot of work, so it's people mm-hmm. that work on like Halo Infinite are only there for six months or a year, and then they go somewhere else. So it's not really like you're, you're developing like a like a team mm-hmm. sort yeah, of thing. Uh, so... it's not a... And it's a shame because Halo's like, it is a good game. You feel that there's something there. Like the campaign, I thought was really good. Then the multiplayer was good. Well, we were like, you know, fucking stuck into it. And eventually, you're like, right, I've played this map a hundred times. I've played this game type a hundred times. Yeah, it's not you quite know. fresh anymore. No, and yeah. then I, I, they've done a few different things. But the the fact that the battle pass is like two hundred days long is ridiculous because it was like so easy like eventually to get up there I know people complained about the progression at the start but eventually it became too easy yeah definitely god damn it god damn it Halo get better get good get good yep so we'll go over some news now I think the biggest thing was pretty much uh, the Playstation state of play and it was only a new one but we did see some some cool things a lot of kind of Things that are out quite soon, actually, um, or have already been out by the time that this gets edited and released. <laughs> a lot of things that Hamish is going to go. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> oh, this is like a, this is a bucket list for me, mate. This is this, this is my jam. This list. I'm going to go Was through you... the, the. Sorry, Dom. Oh, were you guys uh, excited to see not Dino Crisis? <laughs> as long oh, as mate, dinosaurs, that game mate. Oh, so good. Yeah. Like it looks sorry, like Hamish. Anthem. Anthem mixed with Dino Crisis. Because it's it looks like mix, but it mm. looks it, uh, like it's Capcom as well. So you know it's going to be cheesy as fuck. Yeah. Sorry, Hamish, but if you uh, well, I was just going to I'm going to go through the list quickly first, and then at the end we can circle back to um, any ones that you want to talk about. Right? You know I'm itching to talk about all of these games, obviously. Oh yeah, right definitely. Well. Um. So let's see. So Exo Primal is that? Is that, yeah. is that interesting? Is that the one you're talking about? That's the one I was talking about, yeah. That's dinosaurs and stuff, right? Uh, there yeah. was the, the Dial Field Chronicle, which he is going to love, obviously. Yes, it looked great as a uh, strategy. Ah, yeah, I said I'm going through the f- oh, first tight. Ah! No one cares here. Uh, Valkyrie Elysium. <laughs> Do you know what series that's from? Uh, no, Valkyrie. Valkyrie Profile. 
it was a PS1. Yeah, I was getting there. I just you interrupted PS2. me. I was, I was about to say profile. I guess PS1, PS2, <laughs> uh, Returnal Ascension as well. Um, mm-hmm. Just adding like a co-op mode and stuff like that. You know, fun fact: uh, Returnal was going to be called Round Triple. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. That looks quite cool, actually. Quite like that. Yeah. Four spoken. Yes. Uh, the only thing with four spoken is I've not played one spoken, two spoken, or three spoken, so I'd be lost in the story. Um. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry, is this the reason why we're not explaining any of this so you can get your shit punched? Yeah, I was getting oh, raving. He's, <laughs> raving he's, got, he's got so many shit jokes to say. I keep stealing from my notebook here, I don't understand this. <laughs> you two are the unfunniest guys, but together you are funny, I don't get what it is. I don't think I have any more, to be fair. Uh, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, that looks quite cool actually. Gundam Evolution. Yeah! I'm not a big mech fan, to be honest. And maybe the one I'm most excited about is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Collection, which is quite cool. Which has a lot of games in it, we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. And there's a uh, Gigabash. Uh, yep. Yeah, that one was one I just kind of glossed over. Yeah. Uh, and another one that you guys will love, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or All-Star Battle or... Fucking hell fucking yes. I have this game for the PSV. Trek to Yomi as well. Is another one. That, looks, that looks really fucking cool yeah. as well. So, any big opinions on, on Exo Primal? Just dinosaurs? That's all you need to know in it, really? It looks cool. dinosaurs. I'm excited because it's Capcom, because it's going to have that fucking, like, just cheesiness that Capcom yeah. deliver constantly. Yeah. I'm hoping that it's something we can play together. Yeah, yeah, it looks kind I of it's, it's, Overwatchy, I thought. Like, yeah, it's almost. in the RE engine as well, isn't it? Or am I just... I, I don't remember. I don't know. It probably is. It is probably it the, is. The Rengen? The Rengen. <laughs> Uh, Dealfield Chronicle, so that's kind of, I mean, you were what were you talking about earlier on, Fire Emblem and stuff like that, and Final Fantasy, Fantasy Tic Tacs and stuff like that, it's kind of like that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks... Good old Final Fantasy Tic Tacs. <laughs> you know what, what's cool about it? Uh, they started, and they were like, oh, this continent with this empire and alliance, and I was like, oh, they've got me, I'm in. <laughs> 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 they've hooked me, uh, that is straight away, yeah, there's a lot of strategy games coming out this year, but that one looks fun, yeah, it looks kind of Final Fantasy. Yeah. Uh, Valkyrie Elysium doesn't look that great. I don't mean it like looks... that's not the type of game I would play, but I don't know, it looks a bit dated to me. Mm. Uh, mate, it's probably low budget, that's why. Um, yeah. It looks like one of, it looks kind of like Near Replicant to me, because I, I just played Near Replicant before, and it's RPG, not the highest of, you know, budgets, but mm-hmm. they're, re, they're bringing back this franchise that kind of died on the PSP and the PS2 I'm going to play it because I quite like the PSP game so mm-hmm. I'm excited for that I'm, I'm quite glad they're going back to the well with their old franchises and seeing making new games for it yeah. Yeah. so have you guys either of you played Returnal I, I had a go of it I really enjoyed it um, problem was that I didn't get enough time with it to right. get good at it um, with this new sort of co-op mode it's kind of bringing in that Souls kind of appeal for it too um, so remember you were saying about your summons and stuff like that kind yeah. maybe it's going to be the kind of same idea here because it is quite a tough game but every time that you die and you've got your you know your ex your experience or your your buffs that stay there um, yeah I, I, I really do want to get back into it but I need to well, my, buy it my, if it goes on special yeah my follow on question was going to be is that something that you two would play in the new co-op mode you know what I mean because you guys game share anyway on Playstation do you not yeah, I, that would, I would actually. It, it's one of those games that like I uh, wanted to pick up day one, but because of the seventy pound fucking like bullshit price. Yeah, the bullshit price of it. I was like, well, fuck that. I'm gonna wait until it's on sale. Yeah. But now, if there's a co-op version, I'm I'm quite into that because it's a uh, it's a. Uh, well, that's what this update rogue. is. It's uh, yeah. It's adding a it's co-op. Rogue. It's a roguelike game in it, so like it's all about how far you can get before you get fucked up. That mm. that's only more interesting to me when I'm playing it with someone else. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I don't want to be punished, just me. So, Dom, if you're in it, we can we can get a go with it. Yeah, you can get I punished think. together. Might be a nice wee stream. At, or, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, that sounds good. Ghostwire Tokyo. I remember seeing this the first time we saw one. Uh, must have been one of the other state of plays or something like that. I think that looks quite yeah. interesting. It, you know, that looks like a game I'm going to pick up. Uh, it looks like you know how in. Um, 
Skyrim when you do the fucking the magic. See when you sky yeah. the rim in Skyrim. Aye, when you rim the sky. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> Who's <don't> Sky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, you, it looks rim. like you do. It looks like you do wee magical f- spells towards ghosts in Tokyo. That looks cool. And plus, mm-hmm. it, you know, Hamish, I've been to Japan, and so has Dom. Wait, wait, so whoa, when Tokyo. was this? When was this? <laughs> oh, we'll, get, we'll eventually get through a podcast, Hamish, where we don't mention it. Yeah, I, I doubt it. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. It's, uh, it looks like one of those games I pick up a couple of weeks after it comes out, though. Mm. Uh, Four spoken. Any? Yes. I want to play this game because it's made by the studio that developed that Final Fantasy 15. Mm-hmm. So it's made by with the same engine, the Luminous engine. It's Luminous Productions. Yep. It's just been delayed to October the 11th. Mm-hmm. So I've got a bit of time. It looks fun. Like it looks like a kind of Devil May Cry-ish. Uh, but that's all I can kind of see from the trailer. Yeah, um, I was a bit disappointed that the when they did the original the. A trailer the last time on the lost at uh, the last um, Sony Expo, it was I really didn't like the voice acting. It really took. I was like, oh no, it's not going to be this kind of weird, crappy game with absolutely amazing graphics. But with it being delayed, hopefully, not to say like needs to be recast or returned like that. At least it's given it a wee bit more time. Um, yeah, polish it, it a wee does, bit. Look, Yeah, and yeah, I'm. Kind of happy that it has been delayed for a you know a good few months because I think they know that a lot of good games are going to be coming out and at least it's it was delayed and then it was like a case of they don't know when it was coming out but thankfully yeah the 11th of October is a you know at least it's a, a date we're getting as well but yeah looking forward to Forspoken. Yeah, There's another yeah, one great. I remember seeing the the original trailer for and thinking that does actually look mm-hmm. quite cool like kind of open worldy like because it was like the showing the power of the PS5 was like. Yeah. Well, that was one of the sort of tech demos that he'd done and then it was like yeah. well no we'll make it into an actual game which was nice nice of we ne- paid a lot of money for that um, that engine they built that luminous mm-hmm. engine for Final Fantasy 15 mm-hmm. and they were like well fuck this we're gonna you know make some games with it yeah exactly so, I mean like when you make a new engine it's like when you Konami had that with the Fox engine they barely touched any game with that they made like Metal Gear and they used it for the Pro Evo series and you're like <laughs> yeah. you can do so much like with the silent, they could have made that silent how we like you know reboot, but they never bothered. And would you want them to now? Not now, no. Ah, uh, no. Fuck them. Uh, Fuck what them about uh, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin? I'm assuming you guys are going to cream over this. I'm you? not going to. I played the demo and it was mediocre. Meh. Meh. What but was? It's a very Nomura game. Like, mm. and Hamish won't get that because he's not in with the. Of course I do, mate. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've had to listen yeah. to hours of you talking. That's kind of nonsense. It's, it's, a very... it's, not an Indian, it's not an Indian food that you get to side with Nan bread. It's not a Nomura. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very late stage Square Enix production, if you know what I mean. It's a re- retelling or something of the Final Fantasy 1 story or yeah. like a prequel to it. Yeah. The, the demo wasn't very good, but yeah. I'll see what the reviews are for it because supposedly uh, there's a new demo actually out as well. I might get that. And Team Ninja really is, isn't it? Yeah. Team Ninja, uh, yeah, Team Ninja's good, man. Like, yeah, I, I know you are a big Team Ninja, Ninja fan, so that's why I was kind of thinking you would love this. But, but uh, the the demo wasn't that good. It felt a PS2 game, mm, so yeah. I was like, I'll wait and see the improvements they make. Hopefully, they took the feedback from the, the last demo and changed up some stuff. Yeah, yeah, because the characters are so bland. Like, see when I say PS2 game there was a lot of games in the PS2 that tried to be Devil May Cry they tried to be Final Fantasy and it just was like bland badass character and you were like that's what this felt like yeah I always go to like 99 Nights I don't know if you remember that yes the Xbox. Yeah, I like that was, yeah. yeah yeah but it had that problem with the characters as you said the gameplay was fine because it was very Devil May Cry uh, Dynasty Warriors esque but yeah. the characters in the story was just fucking piss poor so <laughs> I that that's the issue here. Like, I'm I'm more specific with the games I'm going to pay full price for. If this turns out to be an 80 or a 70, I'm waiting until the sale. If it turns out to be like a high 80s, 90s, I might buy this game day one because it's mm-hmm. it's Final Fantasy. You know what I mean? And right. he was talking about score, not the price. Was, yeah. yeah no, see, at, first, <laughs> at first I was like, what? Uh, that doesn't make no, sense. No, no, no. Like, like, I'm going to look at the reviews because like hmm. a lot of the I think you have to now. I think you have to take that. Like, see when games were like 40 to 50, 
you could be more like fuck uh, it I'll, I'll the end of the world of a, yeah. but now they're like between 60 and 70 and you're like well no I'm not gonna like just buy it See, straight what? away yeah no, I get it um, Gundam Evolution right which is ridiculous first of all because uh, robots don't evolve let me just get that out of there uh, excuse me, have you have you not seen the Power Rangers when they evolved into the Megazord? That's not evolving though, is it really? It's they were dinosaurs and then they, emeg- they evolved into the, 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 the Megazord. Evolved oh, though, is that really the word that we're using for that? Me, me and Dom saw Gundam and it evolved. <laughs> Guess where we saw it? Probably a video yeah. on YouTube or something like that, I'm guessing. I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, free to play <laughs> multiplayer shooter. <laughs> um, I, I think it looked fun. I, like, maybe not fun if you don't know what the different Gundams are and you aren't invested in that universe. I've literally only started watching the movies from the 70s. Hmm. Uh, or, like, I think it's like 79. I think. Uh, it's like three two hour movies that cover the first full season. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to watch them because Gundam's a really classic show. It's like. Yeah, yeah it, it, even I'd, people that aren't really up on that kind of culture have heard of Gundam. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so it's a it's a franchise I know I'd like. I just need to put time into it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So it'd be cool to. You know, an online shooter's always fun to jump into. And it's I free, so you can always try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, actually, I'm going to leave that one to last because I think we'll all talk about it. Uh, Gigabash. It looked okay. That's it's like a lot of monsters type thing in it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really give it much thought, to be honest. <laughs> Trek to Yomi. That looked really good. That looks like a. So we can have side scroller one in it. Yeah, it's the Twitchy like uh, samurai movies guy? and stuff. Yeah. What's that guy called that did the samurai movies, Hamish? Takeshi Kitano. Takeshi Kitano. Uh, I think you could be lying to me. That's Why would I lie? Why? What's he but, got to yeah, gain from this? Yeah, but that that looks what that Takeshi like, Kitano, mate. That, like me, my brother, and our friend Craig Short, like watched all of his movies and like, including. It looks like, stuff like that. it was massively influenced by that. Kind that was a weed like, before you were a weed, mate. <laughs> you gave it up though. Yeah. You gave up the life, Hamish. Yeah, I ain't about that life anymore. Yeah, so it looked good. It looked kind of do you know what around me of Sifu, but sword, uh, like a samurai sword fighting. Yeah. And it's Devolver, so you know it's going to be fun. Yeah, Devolver are always pretty good to see with, like, especially with, like, a, a yep. IP, uh, you yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> and I, <clears throat> and I, an idea like that that's, like, a lot of influence that a lot of people will be involved in. Yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Flying Hog as well, isn't it? Flying Hog? Flying Hog, the Shadow Warrior guys. I think they're involved as well. Hmm. You played Shadow Warrior? I played Shadow Warrior 1 uh, with Simon. It was a very weird shooter. <laughs> it's <laughs> a heard, good fun. I heard, good th- fun. I heard 2 and 3 are really fun though. Like, uh, they're it's not... very tongue in cheek. Kind of, it, yeah. It's, it's like a kind of samurai Duke Nukem almost. You know what I mean? The Shadow Warrior <laughs> series. Uh... Hamish, I yeah. love that. We should make that game. Samurai Duke Nukem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Giorgio's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle. Is this like a. Like a it's Super a, Smash All Star Battle type idea, or it's like a Street Fighter type to the beat 'em up or 3D. It's like oh, right, um, yeah. it was out on a PS3. I've actually I've got it. It's... So Hamish, have you seen any of the the manga sort of what was the big one they released? It was like the All Star um, Stars Shonen. Yeah, so it's basically like that where all the characters are all fighting each other, but it's just solely for JoJo. So it was all like there's so many characters in JoJo and so many different. Um, well, that's what's interesting about this one. Uh, there used to be 32 in the previous game when it was originally yeah. released, and now there's 50 playable characters. Yeah. Do you know what's good? More people get to play this because the game was stuck on the PS3, and it was quite expensive. Like it wasn't yeah. expensive when I got it, but like it's expensive now because JoJo's became this mainstream kind of liked show. It's now up to like 50, 60 pound if you want to buy the game. Yeah. The fact they're re-releasing it with more characters means that it's more accessible and we can actually like play it together on a console that I don't fucking despise <laughs> <laughs> it's also because of the Netflix uh, deal that they had as well with uh, Jojo yeah. a lot of people have been just jumping on that train as well and looking at it and going what the fuck is this and yeah it's fucking good man it's it's a fun show yeah him, him should definitely read and watch it I'd... holy shit I've seen wee clips hate... and stuff like that but yeah 
I think Hamish would be the biggest weeb. See if we just like get him in, just hook him in. We'll just bait him in with something. <laughs> bait him in with Jojo. <laughs> Aye. If we're walking about Which one? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is there not like millions of Jojos? Let's so many on. Jojos. All the Jojos. Non, non-stop <laughs> unlimited Jojos. <laughs> uh, so the, the the main one I think we will all probably the most common interest in is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Kawabunga collection oh excuse me don't you mean Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles <laughs> no I don't I definitely don't because it's yeah, not good. what it says how weird, <laughs> how weird is it that Ninja was banned in the UK that's yeah. so strange that's so bizarre but yeah the, um, that... the funny thing is like Turtles they're the, they're the real menace right <laughs> <laughs> So let me go through yeah. all of these games, right? There's 13 games, yeah. right? Yeah, games. So there's wow. Teenage Mutant... Uh, I'm going to like... This is like a tongue twister going through all these. So just say TMT. Nah, that's even just, hard. Just, that's, say the, just say the name of the so, game. Don't so say Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the name of the game here. Uh, the is arcade the one. NES one? And oh, that's, yeah. that's oh, the arcade yeah. one. Proper arcade one. And then there's Turtles in Time on the arcade. Yeah. And then there was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Then number two... The arcade game, which was on the NES, not an arcade. Um, then there was game. three, the Manhattan Project. Yep, that's the Manhattan Project, really. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the NES again. Yeah, it um, was a bad version of that game. Two, two button fighter. Fuck yep. off. Number four, Turtles in Time. That was on the SNES. Uh, Tournament Fighters on the SNES. The Hyperstone Heist on the Genesis. Classic. Tournament mm-hmm. Fighters, again, on the Genesis. Fall of the Foot Clan on the Game Boy. Uh, TMNT 2, Back to the Sewers, Game Boy. And number three, Radical Rescue, Game Boy. You know, one Wait. thing, like, just, sorry, to... <laughs> See, uh, Fall of the Foot Clan, that's one of my favourite bits of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle trivia, is how that's like a parody of the hand from like Daredevil and stuff like that. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Have you not heard, like, you know, the the way that Daredevil got his powers was there was like a chemical spill in the street and he got hit with it? Well, the idea is that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got their powers from that seeping into the, like, the sewers so they oh, got their go. powers ah. so that's why it's the the foot clan rather than the hand is is in marvel that's pretty cool yeah like i usually look forward to this because like you know i'm a big retro like collector right so like i've been looking to try to get all the turtles games mm-hmm. and i'll tell you it's expensive like some of the games are over a hundred pound each yeah i can imagine uh, and there's 13 of them motherfuckers Especially the, the the Mega Drive and the SNES ones, they are they are pretty expensive because they're good games. Yeah, like so, I actually want to play together. We use the arcade. Um, I um, love the arcade game, man. That was yeah. that was so much fun. Uh, uh, Turtles in Time and then Turtles Hyperstone and Heist. Th- those are great games. Obviously, I'm Raphael. I'm the most jacked one. So. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you this. For our, for our listeners, there, me and Hamish audibly. Looked <laughs> exactly the same. Like, yeah, really. you can't He's audibly. Still... You can't audibly look. That's no, how affronted <laughs> we were, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's how where we were. That's why we audibly looked at each other. And we made a noise there yeah. of a. You don't audibly look, Tom. You visually look and you audibly. Sound. That's how you're, ridiculous you're your music. statement was, mate. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Raphael. I'm the most jacked one. I most jacked off one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be either or, Tom. Either or. <laughs> I'll be, <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you, right? See if you lined up the turtles uh-huh. left to right, I would not be able to tell you which one was which. Mm-hmm. You're, because, a, you're a fake fan. No, because I was always a bigger fan of Shredder than the turtles. I was like, don't care about turtles. Where's my boy Shredder and Wee Man Krang? I was all about, <laughs> all about Shredder and Krang. I think growing up, uh, everyone's favourite was Michelangelo because he was like the party boy who liked pizza because... You know, party dude. That's a personality. That's a personality. <laughs> I also have another, uh, like, a, a funny story about the, the Ninja Turtles. Right? You know, I, I work in a pet shop, and I never actually worked with this guy, but I've been told from like one of my managers, uh, there used to be each Ninja Turtle ornaments for fish tanks. Oh. And this guy, like, properly flipped his shit on somebody 
because there was like you know here's a Michelangelo one here's a Donatello one and somebody some young kid got the fucking the, the ones mixed up so he put like Michelangelo where Donatello was and stuff like that and this guy yeah. went fucking mental and he was like that's not Donatello what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Jesus <laughs> calm down man it's like the colour of a fucking bandana <laughs> yeah. alright also everyone gets Leonardo and Donatello mixed up yeah I think so yeah Leonardo is the purple Leader. no no, no he's, he's the a blue, blue one he's a blue. He's see blue. see they're the ones that no one cared about Hugh doesn't even know what the fuck you're no. talking about Mate, I used to love the Turtles when I was younger. I had um, I had a uh, uh, second film on VHS, and I watched it so much it actually wore out. <laughs> is that is that the one? Did you always do the Go Ninja Go Ninja Go dance with Vanilla oh, Ice? Mate, and then remember that. big when Big Kevin Nash came through, and he was pure bra, and he was, I, and then he, he tore his quad. It was amazing. I <laughs> tore both his quads. My dad, um, my dad actually like said like for years uh, when we had to see the third film in the cinema. Uh-huh. You know, the beginning of the third film, they're all dancing. Yeah. It says like, every kid in the cinema just stood up and started dancing. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, he'd never seen it like it. Like, we all just stopped, just started dancing with the turtles. So I was like, that's amazing. The third film is also trash, though. Yeah, but yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's just make sure that your, not your Ninja Turtle knowledge is on par then, Dom. So, the one with the blue eye, what do you call that? Blue eye bandana. Eye bandana. Eye da- eye dana. What do you call it? Eye dana. Like a, the blue know. mask. Wh- mask. Who's yeah, that? We've got a mask. That's Leonardo. The one with the red. That's uh, Raphael. The, the orange. Raph. Mikey. Michelangelo. And the purple is obviously the only it's one. Donatello. Okay, well yeah. done. Just wanted to check. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can remember. So there was so many of us. Like I've got uh, a, like what, loads you of and brothers. brothers and <laughs> and my brothers. Like my <laughs> gran used to uh, like make his jumpers like for like Christmas and that so you know it's basically like working at a sweatshop for her like there was so many of us <laughs> but she made us <laughs> she made us all individual uh, turtle jumpers uh, and my favourite was Donatello I love Donatello like I think it was just funny because he just used to beat the shit out of people with a stick yeah. uh, and it was just it's like his staff, face mate, yeah uh, and yeah, so she made us all like individual turtle ones and it was it was amazing I remember again having the cartoon uh, Shredder voiced by James Avery as well or Uncle Phil yeah yeah, well. that was awesome fucking, fucking great TV show Matt, um, we should we should watch that and do a podcast on it because <laughs> do you know there was 10 seasons that oh, yeah. Well, huh? yeah it lasted until like 96, 97 yeah the, I, I remember it being popular but I didn't know it went on yeah. that long fucking hell yeah. I think Did... it lost popularity around season 4 and then it just fucking kept it going yeah just that you got to make that money for them for like the merchandising um, but yeah, turtles, turtles were great. Um, this looks like it's uh, just going to. Uh, hopefully, it'll be reasonably priced. I hope it yeah, is. Right. This game. I, I don't think it's going to be. Uh, it's not going to be massively. It's Konami though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if this is what if this is what they're going to do from now on is release older or the back catalogue and collections. I'm all for it. Just stop talking shit about doing a new Silent Hill and a new Metal Gear. Yeah, just give us it. Show us what you've got. Right, guys, so that's all we're really going to talk about on the news now. Uh, we are looking at, in the future, doing some podcasts on specific things. Hugh's seen the Batman. Dom's going to see it. I'm going to see it. So we're going to do things like that. I was just going to say, if you guys have any particular subjects you'd like to hear us talk about, then you know, let us know, get in touch with us. Uh, I'm not going to rhyme off all the ways to get in touch with us because... You're a grown-ass person. You should be able to figure that out. So, uh, Tam was asking if we were going to do a WrestleMania episode. Well, actually, uh, he asked, uh, "You're going to do a WrestleMania episode?" I don't know who Manny is, so I'm yeah. going to assume he means WrestleMania. We sandbag it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we might do a wee wrestling episode. Yeah, we could do that. Not like, like talking about it. He, yeah, yeah. Not talking around like, but like literally just wrestle each other just on camera. Yeah. And, just get this game just like Hugh just just lies on top of us and like Hugh move and he's like nah I'll not get today, those boys that'll get those twitch subs up you know we get our, <laughs> our leotards on boys <laughs> but uh, there's something like uh, like you know obviously we know some bits about about it and this one's looking like it's going to be at least a wee bit interesting uh, this year so um, but again it's two days for Mania this year um, 
and Hugh's favourite, Logan Paul, is going to be a part of it as well. Oh god, I hate Logan Paul, man. Hugh is a big fan of Logan Paul. He's like, I just want like he's wears the merch, he listens to the music, he loves it. He is literally... no, only reason, no only reason I'm saying this right now is because he's technically he's having problems now. <laughs> and he's like, how am I going to retort to this? But you can. No, he's, I mean he's literally wearing a Logan Paul T-shirt right now. I know. Yeah. Look at him. And look at all those <laughs> Logan Paul posters in his bedroom. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh. anything on the books, Dom? What are you up to in the the near future? So in the near future, I'm actually trying to uh, see if I can get to the cinema to see Jackass. I oh, keep putting yeah. it off. Like, it's still in the cinema at the moment, and I've just not had time to go and see it. Finish off the rest of uh, Spielberg's West Side Story. Um, going to do that as well. Uh, obviously, cut up, uh, Cuphead's out. Going to finish the rest of that um, on Netflix. Uh, the first couple of episodes have been great. Um... But uh, yeah, I'm going to start streaming Horizon as well. So if anyone's out there been waiting for the sequel to it, I will be uh, doing that hopefully next week. I'll put up a schedule once I've got more of our work schedule sorted. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe do like two days a week, uh, try to get through it a wee bit quicker. Uh, and maybe, maybe look at um, doing another game as well alongside that. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Very nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder, can Hugh hear us? Yeah, I can. Okay, so what you what you got planned in the near future, Hugh? What you up to? Well, I'm going to try and continue to play both Horizon and um, Triangle Strategy, but with Chrono Cross coming out in uh, early next month, I want to try and finish him up before the end of this month. And then I want to try and get to um, Ghostwire Tokyo. Other than that, I think I'm just just going to continue to play games, Amish. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty song of playing, mate. I don't, I don't yeah. see anything wrong with that. No, no, no. Why is, why is, why is Dom zooming in on his own face? What are you talking about? I'm going to... I'm going to... Turn Maybe off this you're just getting closer disabled. out of the screen here. Yeah, the just... Sa- lo- you ever thought about that? Disable video. Disable video. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So we do have another question, and I'm not going to say who it's from, just, you know, but it could get quite serious, right? So I think it's a good way to end the the podcast. And the question is, why is life so hard? I'm going to go to you first, Tom. Why is life so hard? Life is hard because you ain't me when life is so easy. But when you're Hugh, life is cheesy, so... All right, yeah. uh, <laughs> you. Uh, Anything uh, to add? <laughs> that's a very dumb answer. I'll take that as you you will. Um, Thank you. It was pretty shit, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Do when people say life is hard? I think it's almost a perspective, isn't it? I think it's harder to be a Ukrainian right now than it is to be. <laughs> <British. laughs> Fucking hell! Nah, I'm being serious. Like it's yeah. all perspective. Some people think it's hard to like get up in the morning and go to work, like you know, sometimes that day. It's also very fucking hard to, you know, be born in a war zone. <laughs> you know what mm. I mean? I don't know. Is that a good answer? Cut it out if you don't like it. That was that was awful. <laughs> hey, let me let me take a stab at it. Then. Um, yeah. Bring it back here. Just bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> as as for why, I don't know why it is. Uh, probably just. We're not really meant to be here. That's, that's, that's so depressing. Isn't it? <laughs> it's not hard. It's perspective. Yeah, no, it is perspective. Um, like, even just up until recently, like I mean, like literally a few days ago, I was I would always get dead stressed and work and stuff like that, and I'd be like, right, I need I need to do everything, I need to do all this, I need to do all that. Mm-hmm. It cannot stop for a minute, you know. Get it done, yeah. and then. Like to the point where I was like, I have a sore stomach. Like I was like, I, I can literally feel the ulcer growing in my stomach from all oh, this man. stress. Uh, and like genuinely, just a few days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just not gonna let it bother me anymore. I'm not gonna let it get to me. And I just, it's weird because the only thing that I've really changed is deciding, nah, don't let it get to you. Like, why yeah. are you working to pay bills? 
Like, yeah. As long as long as you get paid enough to pay your bills, it's not really stressful. There's stress, and then there's like self-induced um, bodies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although I don't like saying, you know, ah, well, you know, life's not hard. Think you could have it worse and stuff like that because life can still be hard for everybody. You know what I mean? It just, like, it just depends on on how. Yeah, pain, pain is relative as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Like I think um, Angie said that to me once, like when I was going through like a lot of shit with work, where I was basically running myself ragged, like yourself, Hamish, and you know, it messes with your sleep. It messes with like a lot of things. So. But just because you can, you have a higher tolerance to it, doesn't mean that you shouldn't have to, you know, you go through it because you can. And when you take that step back and you realise that, yeah, it it can be bad sometimes, but then you just try to find the positives in it because, you know, yes, it might it might be tough now, but it doesn't mean it's going to be tough forever. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. A really weird question to ask that. Um... A gaming podcast. <laughs> yeah. We're not a gaming podcast. We've transcended gaming, surely. Oh. But why is life so hard? Because you, your earlier life was too easy. Put it this way, you know what I mean? Like, um, it could be worse. You could have to listen to Dom, or you have listened to Dom for like an hour. So if you do on. that, you can do anything. <laughs> All right. I'm offended by that. Fuck okay. you. Good. That's all I said. Good. Good. Well, you know I what, Dom? Life is hard to write, so deal with it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bring it back. Uh, I mean, like, the mm. only thing that I will add on to my, like, I'm, you know, I'm being less serious in work and stuff like that is sometimes people don't respond well to that. I served a woman today and she bought Chihuahua food and a wee, like, it's like a wee strawberry enclosure thing for like a hamster a very uh-huh. very small thing and I was ringing her up and then I was like you know I know that they're small but I don't think your chihuahua was going to fit in that <laughs> and she kind of just looked at it and then looked at me and then just like took her change and just walked out didn't say another fucking word so but you know what a bitch yeah <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> what a bitch but on that note uh, I think who asked that question <laughs> Uh, that doesn't matter who asked, but I can on... find out anyway. <laughs> yeah, you find out when, when we're done. When then why ask you? Because I wanted it to be easy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for well, life is hard <laughs> listening. But uh, the boys have some plans tonight. They're away. Um, yeah, le- leaving. Come Batman tonight. Yep. No, 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 leader. Batham, I think is what we're Batham. actually calling it. Yep. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a goodbye from Robert Dom. Hamilton. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of making a joke. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> that's a goodbye from Dom. Bye, guys. That's a goodbye from Hugh. Goodbye. Mr. Bond. <laughs> he never says that. He says, I expect you to die. Like, let's say goodbye. Like, they don't have social goodbye, calls. Mr. Bond. <laughs> do, you, do, you think, do you think I was doing an impression of someone? Yeah, uh, well... We, we sh- yeah. I don't know. I think we should do an impression of someone ending a podcast, and he's not done a really good job of it, is he? Yeah. Gonna cut you out, though. And that's a buy from me, Hamish, the the host, the host with the most, yeah. host. Yep, hostest with the mostestest. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it does podcast now.